Fight Picks. We're here for our first uh, boxing breakdown. I am Brandon Weber here with Kill Clark, my brother Kirby Weber. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to break down the highly anticipated Antonio Margarito, Manny Pacquiao. We've seen the 24-7s. We heard about the scandals, the elections. Well, five days only two weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> the madness. Anyway, let's, let's start with... Um, Margarito, why don't you just tell us uh, what's it going to take a Margarito to win this fight? Discipline. Um, one of the things that we see from Margarito is that times he can get a little wild, and that works to his advantage in a lot of times. But in the fights where he's really dominated, he's able to stand tall, keep his fighters at bay. So he does have a six inch reach advantage over Pacquiao. He's going to have to make sure he utilizes that. He's going to have to make sure he uses the uppercut. Six so inches. He, six inches. Eight. He doesn't want to drop his hand when he uses the uppercut because he will get countered by Pacquiao. Um, make sure that he does not get walk, get to where he's walking backwards fighting Pacquiao, but he needs to insist on using pressure. And he will have to match him with firepower, yeah. but he just can't get sloppy with it. Yeah. That's, I mean, I think that's, I think that's, that's, that's dead on, actually. And I think Pacquiao is going to have to... Um, I think Pacquiao is going to be probably the counterboxer, maybe for the first time in his career. Um, has he ever played counterboxer before? I can't recall anything off the top of my head. No, because he gets countered. No, he yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he's ever played counterboxer before. I think he's going to have to be a counterfighter because he's going to be a smaller fighter by far. He's going to. Um, I don't think he's going to be the stronger man personally, um, but that's debatable. Um, by, by, I guess I should rephrase, not stronger man, but maybe harder harder hitting. Um, has more power. Yeah, so I think he's going to have to be the counterfighter for the first time. Roach has done amazing with Pacquiao's footwork. He's in and out, he's sideways, he's like a little fucking mouse, you know, scrambling around. So he's hard to catch. Margarito has poor footwork, so many many just basically wants to take advantage of that. Basically. Circle him. Yeah, circle him, tag him, jump out. Circle him, tag him, jump out. Pacquiao doesn't want to firefight because I don't think he can win it. But the question is, can Manny avoid it, or does Manny want to avoid, it, avoid a firefight? So uh, basically, you know, it's up to Manny how he wants to fight this fight. He can make it easy for himself, or he can make it hard for himself. But you say, you know, he shouldn't avoid a, a firefight. But the thing is, is that Margarito shouldn't. But the thing is, Margarito is always going to be pushing forward. So I think, would you say it's safe to say that pretty much a firefight is imminent? At this point, or do you think no. that maybe he can circle out because his footwork isn't good enough? Margarito's slow as hell, and Pacquiao's the exact opposite. So I won't say it's imminent, but it's likely because Manny Pacquiao was not like a safety first fighter, like a Floyd Mayweather or Andre Durrell or someone like that, who's safety first. He really wants to knock you out. That's I really think that's his focus. He doesn't just want to win. He wants to go. He wants to knock you out and then go sing at a concert. So then. <coughs> It's likely, but it's it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, I, I think we have you know, set six seven hundred power punches per person, you know, a thousand power punches per person. A, a kind of fight. I think we're gonna have a really big slugfest here because, uh, Margarito got harped. You know, he, he he got it today. I mean, he got it for this fight. He has a lot to prove, so I don't think he's just gonna go down. I think that uh, Manny Pacquiao is going to have a little bit of a problem uh, getting into the get, getting getting in the inside uh, with a six-inch reach like that. You know, it's kind of hard to be the counter puncher while trying to get in at the same time, especially with a six-inch reach. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, he's just you know, it's it's obvious that he's smaller. Uh, so I don't know. I, I think I think uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with the decision. I'm gonna go with the decision on this. I'm gonna go with uh, Manny Pacquiao. I think it's gonna be a little bit rough though for him. Um, I'm going to say um, seven rounds to five, well, maybe eight to four. And I think the four rounds that Margarito does have is going to be really good four rounds. So that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that. I don't see Pacquiao getting a knockout in any way, shape, or form. Margarito might have had plaster in his hands, but he didn't have it in his chin. <laughs> He's taking a lot, of very, a lot of very hard punches. And honestly, I just don't think Pacquiao is hitting nearly as hard as any of the true Walter Waynes that Margarito's fought. Mm -hmm. He's going to be too quick for him. That's going to be the end of the story. Combinations yeah. and activity. Combinations, maybe pitter-patter combinations. They may not cause a lot of damage, but it's going to look good 
it's gonna score. So um, unfortunately, I, I am too going to I, pick you know, I'm, I'm out on decision. I'm gonna agree with you on that. I think that um, I think uh, my reading's gonna land a little bit more better shots, more power shots, more flush shots. But Pacquiao has to stay busy, has to find a way to get into the inside, uh, much like he did with uh, with Joshua Kalati. He just has to you know pretty much stay busy, and that's what gets him where he, you know he has that cardio to go to 12 rounds, and he and, he, and you know. He can go. The, he can go the distance, and he can stay active. I think he's going to win based off of activity, not more than yeah. better. You know, better shots. I basically agree with everything that's already been said. So, no point in repeating it. But I think let's let's talk more about Pacquiao fighting at a weight that he's never fought at before. You guys don't think? We, no one's picking him by knockout. So are we saying he can't take the same power he's had at um, at welterweight and move up to uh, what is this? One fifty? How not? You can't. It's, what mean, is it? it's three pounds difference. It's three pounds difference. But he's, is he fighting at the true weight? I mean, can, can he bring that power up? Yes, but he's not fighting the people he was fighting. He's not fighting a Miguel Cotto who got rocked by Antonio Margarito. He's not fight, he's fighting someone who legitimately is very dangerous to him. Yes, he is. Um, and I just don't think his power is going to have, the, he's going to have the same type of power three pounds up. He already looks slower. 24-7. Um, you know, he, he looks slower and he's fighting someone who is more close to the natural weight than the other guys he's fought. So I don't think it's going to be thing that is, The thing is, though, the, 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 the few extra pounds may benefit him because he's not training hard. He's in Congress. So maybe it allows him a little more leeway. He won't have to drop as much weight. You know what I'm saying? Because he's already not as training as hard as he has before. We've all seen that 24 seven. So maybe a few pounds might, you know, do some good. Yeah, but neither is Margarito, and that's Margarito's natural weight, though. I mean, Mar we, we can all say, from looking at 24 seven, that Margarito is a great shape. He looks great. And, he, and, and you know, either that is some really very good editing, or he's really, or he's picking up some speed <coughs> in, his, uh, in his punches. He's getting a little bit faster. Um, so I don't know. The, 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 one thing that, the one thing that does worry me though is Robert Garcia, his new trainer. Um, me personally, I think he might be a little too green, a little, a little too young. Um, and you know, he did fight Roberto Garcia, he did go a decision, um, which also, you know, of course, when you, when you look at that, you think, well, did he get, you know, did he have, uh, uh, was, was all the power from the illegal raps? I don't know, I'm gonna put it on, I'm, I might put it on the training though. I think that, uh, I think his trainer makes him, is, is making him look good. Uh, this is a big fight for him, but maybe his uh, his trainer's just uh, not good for not him. Not, not right for him. I'm sorry. He's gonna, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen my, uh, Margarito's fight against uh, Roberto Garcia that took place in Mexico. Like a tune up fight after his Mosey fight. Little people, you know, not many people know that fight even happened. Mm -hmm. But um, the way I understand it, he looked bad. Yeah. I haven't heard too much. I haven't seen the fight, but he didn't look too good. And Roberto Garcia, by no means, is like a top. Competitor, what's his record? Uh, let's take a look at that. I think, I believe uh, 28 wins, three, three losses. losses, 21 by KO. Um, I don't know. Not bad, but could be. A good I'm not knocking him, but I mean, we don't know nothing about him. That's so I mean, the thing is, do you, do you want to blame it on the on the was it the raps that that's not in his hands anymore? Or is it because he had to switch trainers, training camp, and everything? So. I blame it on the raps. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> no one knows how hard Margarito punches. Right? I mean. Fighting someone like Miguel Cotto with wraps in your hands gives you all the confidence in the world. Yeah. You can take all the punches in the world because you know by the eighth and ninth round, mm -hmm. they're done because you're cheating. We don't know how his mind's going to work going into a fight with someone who, you know, could potentially knock him out if he gets caught slipping. Let's say, let's say this though. Let's say that, let's all assume that he only was using the wraps for Shane Mosley. And that the Cotto win was was legitimate. legitimate. Yeah. Do you think he has the power to knock out Nick Pacquiao? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think we have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I think we have to look at this objectively and say, you know, he tried to cheat on that fight. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen. I say that if he catches Pacquiao, he knocks him out. That's the chance he has. He has a puncher's chance. Yeah. Yeah. Margarito, real quick before we wrap up. Margarito is not what I would say. He's not like a home run hitter. He hit, you know, he 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 he's a accumulation of uh, punishment, kind of like uh, kind of like maybe Pacquiao was in a way, I guess. I wouldn't necessarily Pacquiao was a home run, but anyway, that's kind of beside the point. So anyway, we're all picking Pacquiao. 
there's a lot of intangibles going into the fight, so you know I, I expect our post fight is going to be interesting. So make sure you subscribe, check out our post fight video uh, for this fight. We're going to have uh, we're going to break down all the upcoming boxing matches throughout the year, also some MMA action as well. So check everything out, subscribe, and just stay tuned for everything we got coming up. Put comments on our walls and be able to. Once again, be sure to subscribe. We definitely want y'all to subscribe because we want y'all to put comments and that uh, we will be sure to shout you out and uh, you know we want to hear your opinion. We'll shout you out and tell you uh, if you're right, if you're wrong, you can agree, you can dis disagree. Uh, it's all good, you know. Is your email on uh, No, okay. No, it's not. But you can't, what's the email? Yeah. Black Pelican? Uh, Black Pelican Films at gmail.com. All right, yeah, hit that up and uh, maybe we'll get a QA session. Yeah, check it out. Anyway, stay tuned, watch other videos. Peace out. Thanks for watching.